All right, time to take down the big Wumba. Wumba, Wumba, Wumba. There is no Wumba, Wumba. And uh, who's the Wumba, the big thing that kidnapped the Luke? Wampa. Wumba. That was actually really close. I had completely forgotten. <laughs> I just made up Wumba. I was, what, two letters off, and even then, barely, you just have to flip them upside down? Oh, hey, I actually... I don't necessarily think you have to wait long to see Wampas. Sweet! <laughs> the only enemy here is Wampas. Because... Wampa just immediately yeah, yeah. kidnaps us. Actually, mm. it'd be cool if you could keep that costume. Yeah, it would be. Be a little toasty for jungle. Mm. Hmm. Nothing. Is Master Skywalker wrong about this place? What's that? I guess I'd better check it out. I think you get to ride the Tauntauns in this one. I can probably cover more distance. Don't don't kill a Tauntaun. Tauntaun. Ride a Tauntaun. Yep. Woohoo! Tally ho. How do you how... Oh. God, driving them is awkward. Cause I... you drive them with your mouse. Here? Maybe Master Luke was right after Come on! You're a Tauntaun rider! Go! I give up. Goodbye. What are you doing? How, how did? How do I? Oh, this thing doesn't can't jump over the barricade. It's still awkward. <laughs> oh, that guy's had a turret, actually. There you go. He is. Yep. He was. This is. <laughs> how did? <laughs> there we go. Did it? just isn't even worth it. What, riding the Tauntaun? It, you have to control it with left and right with the mouse, but the turning was just not pleasant. Mm. Much less the attacking, and now the poor Tauntaun is just like, who's a what's a who's a who's a Goodbye, Tauntu. I think he'll be able to acquire more. Oh, this might be some caverns with wampas in it. A wampum? Wampa. Yep. There's a wampa. Blam! <laughs> what? <laughs> it went flying. Oh, hurry! Yeah! Works for me. I <laughs> like that light. Force lightning, is, it just blitzes secret at area. me. Yep. I think this is the, what, second secret area I've even bothered to find? Most of them I've just kind of generally ignored because, yeah. Yeah. It's sort of hard to discern what one is, what is actually a secret area and what's just a spot yeah. that you can get to. None of them feel particularly worth looking for, though. Mm. And I'm sure if I was, like, really in trouble, it would be, but... Ooh, that's a bloody tauntaun. I had just chopped off both of his arms. <laughs> oh, no, just one of them. That was still gruesome. What's, what does the box say? Okay, it says... Cra crate. It just says crate. Dingleberries. <laughs> this is a crate. We will label it crate. Ooh, yeah. Get rid of those. Problem solved. All right. Uh, is there a dude up there? There's stuff. Like in this way. Must be another way in. Probably through the structure. Maybe. Oh, I see what he means. That's an old rebel turret, not an imperial one. So that was more or less just a dead end. It's like, oh, uh, no, no, there's nothing over here. Mm. Mm -hmm. A checkpoint. Checkpoint. Yeah. Spurred. I suppose you won't need a Tauntaun this way. Yarp. Poor Spud. I should probably hold off on throwing the lightsaber if I want to use Force Spud. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey. You better prevent him from getting to that. He's gonna use it on you. Well, I'm trying to use it on him. Oh, you need to use it on that. She's the walker. 
Um, that was a lot easier than I was expecting, which is kind of good. This isn't what it looked like in the hollow vids. The weather here must be fierce. That reminds me of uh, that recent picture that people had made on the internet. Of? Of the United States and how we're currently in the off region. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think this is a good time for speed enhancing drugs. You know what was I was thinking about when we were going through that like academy cutscene in the mm -hmm. previous episode? Yeah. I am very disappointed that like imagine if Assassin's Creed had been made but like Jedi style. Like that kind of combat and play or like really anything other than Force well, Unleashed. Well, isn't there going to be an Assassin's Creed like a uh... Lord of the Rings game coming Yeah. Out. And you know what? I'm actually excited for it because it sounds like it's an interesting idea. Oh, I should probably get all the loot skis. Well, we I'm trying to think of other games that have been made. Like, there's Star Wars Bounty Hunter, which I actually the... heard was a really good game. Yeah, it was for the PS2, though. It's been a long time. Like, the last decade or so feels like... It's they've... also for GameCube as well. Oh, yeah. Locked. Which means we could still acquire it. That actually... Yeah, it involved Django Fett and Count Dooku and. I do. Do I have to go back up? I need to figure out how to open this door. Maybe there's a switch up above. Yeah, maybe, maybe there is a switch. Uh, I don't know. I guess it just feels like the last decade has been largely squandered by the. Star Wars? Oh, I have to go up. Yeah, the. The Star Wars people. And I guess that's why. Um. That's why Disney picked them up. Which honestly is I kind of an I interesting think it's a thing. Part because a lot of it has gone either kid, kiddish, or dark and edgy. But, like there was a television show in the makes making, you know. Uh, I was I was gonna say work works and uh, making, <laughs> so <it> makes <laughs> funny. Yeah, but they never finished that one. No, and like they had gotten actors for it, and who knows how much it was supposed to be about the time between episodes three and four, and they were going to focus more on bounty hunters and smugglers, and they might bring in Boba Fett on occasion, you know? Yeah, which would have been kind of fun. It was essentially going to be Firefly in the Star Wars universe, <laughs> from what which I Which would have been fun. From it. But no, they didn't pull through with that, and they were actually going to have, like, spin-off series for specific characters and such. Yeah. I, I guess the Clone Wars TV show, some people may complain about that, but I actually thought that was a pretty good thing. The 2D or the 3D? Both. Uh, yeah, because I, like, the 2D was fun, but the 3D, like, at first Ahsoka Tano was annoying, but I really liked to see it. I liked seeing how she progressed. <laughs> and then with Asajj Ventress, like, I always thought she was an interesting character in the comics, but she just always ended up being, like, some sort of faceless crony in most things, and at first I thought she was going to be like that in the new 3D series. But she actually ended up being a really good character, though they did retcon some of her origins, like how they made her a night sister, yeah. which is one of the witches of Dathomir, but in fact she's a Ratataki. So I don't know. I really don't know what to think of everything, because she's definitely not Dathomiri. The Dathomiri yeah. are actually humans, and the night sister is just sort of themselves. We should um we should get our hands on the Metal Gear Solid Revengeance game at some point. Just just so I can show you what I think a good maybe a little over the top, but what like a good Jedi combat system could be. Cause he cuts like everything into tiny little bits. And it's like you could totally do that with a lightsaber and it would be so cool. And you're like fighting really big things and slicing them in half and running all over the place like some kind of super powered humanoid because that's what you are. Yeah. I mean, go and it's interesting because there are a lot of sci-fi games that have come out lately, and I absolutely love the sci-fi genre, but there's just something about Star Wars with its tiny touch of fantasy that is just... It's more interesting. It's appealing, and I mean, I love the concept of lightsabers, and I don't know, there's just, there's something about it that you can't compare. It's just, it has a different... Feel to it. Like I like the biotics in Bioshock, but they really needed some kind of melee biotics combat. Biotics are Mass mm Effect. Yeah, that's what I said. The biotics are Mass Effect. You said Bioshock. Oh, well. 
what, what was it in Bioshock? Well, Bioshock had the Adam Vigors and Adam, which were interesting, but uh, I think Extra Credits made a very good point that, like, in Bioshock 1, Adam felt very appropriate, but by the time he hit Infinite, it was just like... It was just like, w what is the point of this being here? Like, mm -hmm. the society had no reason for it, whereas... What I'm super impressed about with Star Wars as well is that there are literally hundreds of races. Why would they be going Probably a, a hundred or so planets that they've at least established. There's... I don't know, there's just so much to it now. I'd have a hard time just keeping track of, I don't know, ten races in a game, you know? Yeah, I think a couple episodes you'd mentioned the whole uh, Star Wars D&D &D mm -hmm. that I used to play. There was one book with, like, 200 playable races in it and all their stats and how it all worked. And you played a Keldor, didn't you? Yep, I played as a Keldor. I thought they were cool. Yeah, well, now you get to play Keldor. I'm, yep. I'm really glad that they actually did choose... Keldor is a race in this. I've never seen them as a playable race in any other Star Wars related game. Yeah. Because there was Star Wars Galaxies for a while. They did say the next Star Wars game and or MMO would be Galaxies style. Like Sony might be making a Star Wars thing next. I mean, I wasn't interested in Galaxies when it came out, but my parents would never have let me play it because it was online. Uh, my problem is I heard about Galaxies after I had gotten into World of Warcraft, and well, Galaxies seemed like it had some really cool stuff in it. Well, the interesting thing about it is you could be something mundane yeah. like a dancer. Yeah, but like, my thing is... While that's cool, looking at the environments, they were just so sparse and un uninspired in uh, comparison. the environments were eh, and I don't know how quests worked in that. But they had actually quite a few races. They had, of course, uh, Twi'leks, which are probably one of my favorites. They had, well, I think Wookiees. You could be Wookiees. I wouldn't be, be surprised. Celestins. You could be Athorians. You know Athorians, though. Mm. Yep. Okay, how do I get in here? You know? Into this facility? I don't yeah, think into, you're supposed into to. Into Echo Base. He said I was supposed to go into Echo Base. I think there's a hole in the wall somewhere. Oh, it's probably over here in one of the shield generators or something. Yeah, this looks new and different. Maybe? Yeah. Noth just, nothing? Just look around. I know it's definitely in one of the ruins. Yep. I mean, there are a lot more stormtroopers I haven't killed yet. Yeah, where are all of these guys just hiding out? <laughs> How did I get past them? The Imperial Remnant? I don't know. Because I was fighting there. over there. So it's probably back here. Maybe? No, no, go back to that structure. This thing? With the turret on top? Yeah. But I've already been here. Go around. There's like nothing on the back side. There isn't? Then what's uh, that? How do I get past it? Oh. Mm-hmm. I didn't see it. What right. did I tell you? I'm a poop de boot. Ah, you cool. got both of them. Yeah, I actually like went into some kind of weird special combat move. I loved how they both screamed the same scream at the same time. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're going down places. We're going places, doing things. Exciting. Mm -hmm. I still don't like having to reach up to the F keys to use force powers. Uh, it's much easier on a normal keyboard, probably. Uh, only vaguely. <laughs> They're still conducting their conversation. Just run, you little worm. Run. But where were we? Death. So, yeah, I really enjoyed the new... Clone Wars series, but it's too bad they're stopping it after the next season. Actually, I haven't been keeping up with it at all in the last Ooh. month or so. But they're stopping it because Disney's like, enough of this. Yeah, well, I think Disney has its own ideas with what to do, and that's kind of concerning to me because there aren't a whole lot of actually good TV shows Well, I think that what Disney, Disney was done. saying is that, I mean, maybe they're putting the people onto 
a project around the same time period or maybe even a prequel to their sequels. Yeah, like I'd be okay with it. I just don't want them to stop with a... I mean, the Clone Wars were a really good time era. Yeah, I think they spent too much time on they the TV spent series. Too much time. It would have been more interesting if they had five series of Clone Wars. And I think they were on season seven, five or six. Uh, I think season they season seven is the last for one. Ten seasons, but they're not going to. Which make is a little bad. ridiculous, if you ask me. I would say five seasons of one time period, five seasons of another, and like really pad out the universe, because the books kind of handle it, but. Not in a very easy to digest manner. Mm hmm. Whereas, I mean, if you had made, if they had made like, uh, uh, five seasons in between each movie or something like that, because there were huge times. But when did you hear about the making a new MMO? Uh, that was recently. I think that was on Rock Paper Shotgun a couple days ago. Really? Yep. Oh, hey, elevator. Because you know me. I, I really like gummos because it allows it, us to have a multiplayer game to play together, and it's something where you're actually sort of customizing and progressing a character. Yeah, my problem is, uh, like, as much as I like that, the time commitment required to play an MMO in full sucks. Well, I don't even really care about end game gearing as long as the story is well done, too. Yeah, but, like, even then, we we're playing, uh. Shoot, what was it? Tor. And even just the leveling process in that one was dull, because... It was, though I did like it how the NPCs that you spoke with actually had spoken dialogue. Yeah. No, that that was neat. Like, it, it definitely felt like it had more of a story than any other MMO I ever played. It was also one of those where it's just like, eh, you know what? After a certain point... I'm just... I mean... It's not a bad story, but it's not... The we best haven't even gone story. that far. We've only leveled four characters, each of us, and there are all the sort of like opposing classes on either side. Yeah, I don't know. I just would much rather spend my time playing a game like this where the plot, like you can get very far in a plot or go through a full complete plot in about 10 hours, whereas World of Warcraft, back when I used to play, it would take, what, 72 hours? We never even encountered a plot point when we played together for a month. Yeah. But, like, games like that, you play for 72 hours, and, like, there were plot points, we just largely ignored them. And... Well, no, I just don't remember anything involving the Burning Crusade or Arthas We or, skipped those, because... Like, unless you played as a Death Knight? We didn't it, We didn't go into the right areas to get, like, half of the pre-raid build-up quests and stuff like that. I see. But, realistically, yeah, there, a lot of their quests could have had more interconnectivity, and it would have been much more compelling. Speed. <laughs> Just zipping around. Yep. Hello. Command center to Alora. Alora here. We've just finished downloading the data. The rebels must have erased everything during the evacuation. Fortunately, the computer kept logging their flight information. And? And we found Rogue Leader's flight trajectory when he left Hoth. From it, we've been able to determine that Skywalker went to Dagobah. Dagobah? That sneaky little Jedi. Get him. Durgan Fergan. Ah, uh, oh, that was good. This isn't good. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> Okay, I'm going I to redecorate your face. It's a little sparkly. Uh, what? So where am I going now? This looks like a secret secret. Come on. Oh, okay. It no, does actually light the way. Good. I was just expecting like, hey, the lightsaber is going to pop out immediately and light things up. Nope, it took a while. Oh, hey. Oh, no, saved a tauntaun. <laughs> These guys are really easy to kill. It's kind of a neat quick time event, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tauntaun! Oh, it's a severely injured Tauntaun. Yeah, God. Turning on these guys sucks. Like, majorly. 
Yes, Master, Dagobah. Skywalker didn't mention it in his journals. He must have been trying to protect something. Well done, my apprentice. Meet me there. Ah, you must be the saber-wielding troublemaker who neutralized our perimeter guard. Are the Jedi stretched so thin that Skywalker sends children to battle the disciples of Ragnos? I will destroy you. Uh, I'm gonna get off the Tauntaun. You better pick up your lightsaber again. I didn't know you could drop it. Yep, you could drop it. All right, speedy drugs time. Ah, oh, she kicked me. We'll meet again. Wealth. I can't wait. So they know about Dagobah. Master Yoda hid there, knowing his presence would be masked by the planet's strong dark side aura. If they find it, did you find anything on Hoth? Nothing. They must have already taken the Force energy from there. Just as others have reported, Bespin, Endor, Coruscant, everywhere. Kyle, what about Biss? Rosh hasn't returned. He's long overdue, and. We haven't heard from him. I sense he's still alive. I'm going to Biss to look for him. I know some people that can get me into some of the outlying Imperial outposts. I'll see what I can find out. Very well. What about me? I want to help. Rosh is my friend. You can help by staying here and completing your training. Kyle's right. There are still missions for you to undertake, and we can't neglect the training of one of our most promising students. Promising? Yes. Due to your heroics on Hoth, we are promoting you to apprentice. Thank you, Master Skywalker. Master, uh, Kyle. Hey! Now you can choose fast or strong. Yeah, we'll go with fast. Yeah, for whatever reason, when I first press down on, like, any of these weird scroll bars, it doesn't work mm -hmm. properly. Okay. That's kinda cool. Yeah, we'll be going fast. Mm -hmm. Master Skywalker and Master Katan have left the Academy. I have been instructed to provide you with a set of possible missions. Okay. So... Rosh Pennon's missing, hmm? Is anyone surprised? The answer is no. All right, so next I guess we'll be doing Narcrita and going from there. I don't know. So. Why, you don't actually want to review them to see what would interest you? Nope, I just pick them randomly. Because <laughs> honestly, like, we're going to do them all anyway. It's Very not like true. there's any choice. So, we will see you guys on the next mission in Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Yeah. See you then.